Hey, what's up? Everyone, it's me again. Uh, sorry about if this mic sounds kind of bad. I'm not using my stand-up one because this is hopefully just going to be a really quick video. So today we're achieving what I like to call the chowder effect. Or basically, this picture in the background, it just, you know, it moves along with the object. This is a really simple effect to achieve, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. So, uh, let's start from the very beginning here, we're just going to grab a cube. And you know what? Go on adventurous, let's do a sphere. Let's go ahead and uh, shade that smooth. Use whatever shape you want, this is what I'm going to do. And we're going to go on a shader editor here, and we're just going to make a new shader. Call it whatever you want. And we're going to grab our coordinate, texture coordinate, specifically. This is a vector node, and you'll see what we do with that in just a second. But we also need our image texture. Now, I have, it's like the rug from The Shining or something, right? I just found it on Google Images, use whatever picture you want. It can be done with literally anything, I just want a nice pattern, because once again, I'm trying to achieve that chowder effect, right? And we're gonna use window, plug that into the vector, and plug it into our base color, and now, you've got it. We've achieved the chowder effect. Uh, that's all for today. Hopefully this helped you out. Um, I know that there's not a whole lot of videos on this, at least last time I checked. So hopefully this broke it down really simply. And see you in the next one.